previously on the 2022 World Cup. Canadian portion of the World Cup, and his lights out, and away we go. Verstappen gets a great start, but so does Shaw Leclerc. He goes down the inside, overtaking Verstappen and Paris at the same time. And oh my god, Kevin Magnussen just ran into the back, I believe that was, of Lance Stroll. They say history tends to repeat itself, and today it is. In Liam Lawson's first F2 race, he won in Bahrain. In Liam Lawson's first DTM race, he won. And now, in his first ever taste in Formula One machinery, Liam Lawson is going to come across the line to win in Canada and to take Australia's first ever World Cup win. Welcome hey. back, everybody, to the 2022 Formula One World Cup. My name is Chris, otherwise known as CF Racing, and I am back once again, and I am hosting today's video, Racing at Circuit of the Americas in the USA, home of Team USA. Last time out, we had a great race in Canada with Liam Lawson taking his first ever victory in Formula One machinery, followed by Zhou Guangyu for Team Switzerland, and rounding off the podium was Esteban Ocon in third place. From four to 10, we have Lance Stroll, Sergio Perez, Daniel Ricciardo, Lewis Hamilton, Max Verstappen, Yuki Tsunoda, and Fernando Alonso. 11 to 22, all scored zero points, and those drivers include Latifi, Sebastian Vettel, Pierre Gasly, Charles Leclerc, and Lando Norris, who had a very poor strategy in the race, followed by Valtteri Bottas, Alexander Albon, Mick Schumacher, and your four DNFs were Carlos Sainz, Oscar Piastri, George Russell, and Kevin Magnussen. Going on to the team standings, we have Australia in first with 25 points, followed by Switzerland in second with 18, and France in third with 16, followed by Canada in fourth with 12, tied with the Netherlands for fifth with 12, Great Britain is in 6th with 8 points, followed by Germany in 7th with 3, Japan in 8th with 2, Thailand, Italy, and the USA are all tied for 9th with 11. Oh, and lastly, just want to give a huge shout out to I, or IK Link, or I Know Link. Thank you so much for the 2 euros super thanks. If you guys want to be shouted out just like Link was in this video, make sure to leave a super thanks in the comments, and I'll make sure to give you guys a shout out in the next video. Now guys, it is time to head to Circuit of the America for qualifying for the race in the USA. Welcome one and all to Circuit of the Americas. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Texas and today we are headed into round two of the World Cup. We are currently looking at the current World Cup championship leader Liam Lawson as he won in Canada and now we are on board with Lando Norris who is putting a hot lap in. Currently once again in 13th, I believe he was 13th also in Canada after his first hot lap. He's dropped down to 14 but he's putting in some absolutely stonking sector times right now as he's heading through the final couple of quarters hoping that he can get pole with about 11 minutes left in the session and he's coming across the line where is that going to put him that puts Lando Norris into fifth pretty good lap there as we ride on board now with Liam Lawson who's putting in his fastest lap of the session he is absolutely pumping it through these last couple of quarters where will that put him will it put him on pole no only 21st now guys we're going to give it to Crofty for the 2022 U.S. Grand Prix for the World Cup Welcome to Texas, where we've had approximately 120,000 race fans through the gates to attend this year's US Grand Prix. They're excited, we're excited. I hope you're excited too. We're racing today then in Travis County, Texas, around the 20 corners of the wonderful Circuit of the Americas. We'll be reaching speeds of around 200 miles an hour, and there are plenty of good opportunities to pass, especially through the two DRS zones into turn one and the very long back straight into turn 12. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. 
Now, as we run down the grid order, here is who got pole for the race. On pole is Max Verstappen, followed by Lewis Hamilton for Team Germany. Great laps for both of them. Only eight thousandths of a second split them, followed by Gasly and Norris, third and fourth. Signs and George Russell, fifth and sixth, followed by Ricardo and Mick Schumacher qualifying high for USA. Ninth and tenth is Valtteri Bottas and Kimi Raikkonen, followed by Fernando Alonso and Joe Guangyu. We got Lance Stroll and Charles Leclerc with a disappointing qualifying in 14th, followed by Sonoda and Paris 15, 16, Piastri 17, Akon in 18th, Alex Albon 19th, Latifi 20, Kevin Magnuson 21st, and to round off the grid in dead last was reigning race winner Liam Lawson. The anticipation is building as the five red lights are coming on to the U.S. Grand Prix and it's lights out and away we go. Verstappen gets an absolute horrendous start as Lewis Hamilton goes into the inside of Max Verstappen as he's going down the inside into quarter one and here goes Lando Norris trying to make it almost three wide. He gets a great start as well but we got Hamilton and Verstappen side by side going to the S session. This cannot end well. Both are side by side. Who's going to let up? It is Verstappen who gives up the place as Lewis Hamilton is in P1 for Germany so far. Look at all these beautiful cars and beautiful team country liveries going through the S's. Yes. But Hamilton though is leading the Grand Prix with Verstappen losing out on the start and Lando Norris into third place. Here's reigning race winner Liam Lawson as he gets spun around by Kevin Magnussen. That is unfortunate. Here's the onboard right now with Kevin Magnussen as he just dives down the inside. Not even on the track. What the heck was he doing? Kevin Magnussen is having an absolute shocker so far in this World Cup as he DNF'd in the first race. Now we just spins out Liam Lawson in the second, but we got Lewis Hamilton in first, Verstappen in second, Norris currently in third, Gasly's running great in fourth place right now. He's doing a fantastic job. We got George Russell in fifth, Carlos Sainz in sixth, good job for him. Daniel Ricciardo in P7, followed by Schumacher in eight, representing the USA in this. Uh, Sebastian Vettel's ninth, Zhou Guang Yu is in 10th. Great job for him. We got Bottas running just behind his team in 11th. Stroll is in 12th, followed by Alonso in 13th. And he's doing pretty good. Uh, Yuki Sonoda is into 14th place, followed by Leclerc in 15th after a bad qualifying. That sucks for him. Uh, Oscar Piastri is in 16th, followed by Alexander Albon in 17th. Perez falls back all the way to 18th, followed by Ocon in 19th. Latifi in 20th. Kevin Magnussen is in 21st. And Liam Lawson's going down the inside of him as he has wing damage and he's got to recover. And Liam Lawson and Magnussen are basically fighting for last place right now. That kind of sucks. On to lap 8 now. Liam Lawson... I I believe he might have a little bit of tire degradation or so a little bit tire damage after the spin on lap one. He's coming into the pits and he is the actually the first driver to come into the pits. Hopefully Team Australia can give, can give him a good pit stop. Maybe another good strategy that can help him win the race. That would be great. But like I said before, it, like I said in the last video, Liam Lawson. Like I said in the last race, Liam Lawson has done very well so far in his first ever race in a specific category as he won in DTM. He won in his first F2 race and he won in his first race in F1 Machinery last time. It was a pretty good um, pretty good pit stop for Australia and as he goes on to the medium tires, he's likely going to have to make another pit stop. We're on lap 13 now as Hamilton looks like he's going to be coming in for his one and only pit stop. No, he doesn't. He actually stays out. I thought he was going to be coming in this lap. Verstappen stays out. That's quite impressive. I guess we're just going through the top three right now with Lando Norris and P3. He's doing pretty good. Now, also on lap 13, here's some more guys coming into the pits. We have Valtteri Bottas in the Swiss car, representing Sauber, basically, as Sauber is a Swiss team. So, Bottas is into the pits. Maybe he'll get a good stop. Hopefully, he won't get very unlucky like he did in his Mercedes days, honestly. He's those were quite unlucky, I gotta say. How did, I don't know how it happened all the time, but he got such bad pit stops every single time with Mercedes. Every time he was in the lead, too. It's quite a coincidence, honestly. Lap 14, also Fernando Alonso, I believe this is, is coming into the pits in the beautiful French livery, might I add. He's, has, he's had a pretty solid um, F1 career, I have to say. You know, two World Drivers Championships, 2005, 2006. He's done pretty well for himself. He's got over almost or around 30 race wins one of the most decorated Formula One and just all in general racers of all time. We have a great battle between, I believe this is Carlos Sainz and Alonso as they both get out of the pits there. I don't know what happened there. I, I believe they must, the camera people must have missed the pit stop there. That really sucks. We got Schumacher, we got Stroll, looking at Liam Lawson or Piastri, I believe that is. But now in the lap 16, Max Verstappen reigning Formula One world champion. Looks like he's going to be coming in for his first pit stop. Hopefully the guys can give him a good stop because he needs to make up, on some, make up some time on Lewis Hamilton as he's falling. Falling back 
ever so slightly every single lap. It looks like Merce Lewis Hamilton and the German car is actually having such a good race so far. And Hamilton just boxed as well. It looks like Verstappen just basically did whatever Hamilton was doing. I guess you don't really want to get overcut or even undercut in Circuit of the Americas because the tire degradation is just so massive. But Verstappen is coming out. Hamilton looks like he's going to be put into clean air just ever so slightly. Verstappen is now side by side with his teammate. This could get a little bit dicey. And did they hit going into turn one there? They may have hit. Oh, did they hit there? I can't tell. Looks like there was a little bit of contact between the two teammates. And yeah, as I thought, Perez is going to let up and let Verstappen ahead. But looks like Verstappen does have a little bit of damage as he is going to be boxing at the end of this lap. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he hit the rear tire or something of Sergio Perez coming out of the pits. The cameras did not really show it that well. But Verstappen has wing damage and he is going to have to box, which is very unfortunate for him. He's going to lose a whole bunch of time in this race. I don't know if they're going to put him on hards or mediums to go to the end, but no, he's on a brand new set of soft tires. He's going to be trying to pump in mega lap times right now. Maybe he'll set a couple fastest laps, but it's looking all in dandy for Lewis Hamilton right now as he's in the lead. Norris is in P2. Valtteri Bottas hasn't boxed yet. Oh, no, he did box, but he is in P3. Gasly is into fourth. He's done quite well. Ricardo is in P5. Seb is in P6. Mick is in P7. Great job for Schumacher there. P8 is Zhou Guang Yu. P9 is Yuki Tsunoda. He's doing very well. P10 is Charles Leclerc. He's gained five spots since the start of the race. Good job for him. 11th is Lance Stroll. He's doing quite good. Oscar Piastri is in 12th. Could be scoring points today. Alexander Albon is in 13th. And in 14th, as the camera goes by, we have Esteban Ocon, who's been meh. 15th is Sergio Perez. 16th is Nicholas Atibi, with Verstappen right behind him in 17th. Verstappen's going to try to make up as much spots as possible. 18th is Liam Lawson. 19th is Carlos Sainz, as he also had damage. And 20th is George Russell, as he also had damage. Not to pit again. And that is Fernando Alonso down there. We have um, Kevin Magnussen in dead last. He's really ruined his race with that wing damage. On to lap 27, Alexander Albon is coming into the pits for his second and probably Probably final pit stop, but it's very hard to tell. If he goes on mediums, I would say it's probably his last stop. If he goes on to another set of softs, it's definitely not going to be his last pit stop. But we haven't really taken time out of our day to appreciate this Thailand car. The red and white stripe down the side is absolutely beautiful. And once again, credits to the mod creators, Scotty and Jamie, for doing a great job. Lap 28, Bottas is finally coming in for his last pit stop. His overcut, I believe, or his undercut, sorry, was actually very powerful in the beginning of this race. But it did give him a lot of tie wear near the the end of the run so maybe pulling the overcut or undercut is not the best strategy maybe the overcut's the best but who knows we'll see at the end of this race what will really happen can we get a good four tire stop for Bottas and we do once again just not like the Mercedes days as he got very unlucky every single time on lap 33 Lewis Hamilton is still absolutely dominating this race with a mega mega lead and now he's coming in for his what looks to be his final pit stop he's probably just going to slap on a set of mediums I would even slap, slap on a set of hards to go to the end but it looks like the German team does have the medium tires to go to the end here as they put a great four tire stop on Lewis Hamilton in that German car obviously representing Germany because Mercedes Lewis Hamilton's team is a German team on lap 46 Lewis Hamilton continues to absolutely dominate the Grand Prix as we run down the grid order with Lando Norris in P2 we have who is up into P3 after the this last round of pit stops it's Sean Leclerc going from P15 to P3 absolutely unbelievable drive we got Lando Norris in P2 that must have been Ricardo in P2 this is Norris in P4 Verstappen is all the way up to fifth after the uh, the whole pit stop kerfuffle. We have Perez up in the sixth. Actually, solid race for Netherlands so far. Lance Stroll is in P7, followed by Sebastian Vettel in P8. In ninth is uh, Yuki Sonoda, actually great for him. And in tenth, rounding out the points is Pierre Gasly, hunted down by George Russell in 11th with Esteban Ocon in 12th, doing pretty good. Carlos Sainz has fallen off and fell down in the 13th. Albon is in the 14th. Zhou Guangyu in the 15th. We got Liam Lawson actually going up to 16th after the spin, which is pretty good. Alonso is 17th. Poor race for him. Bottath is 18th. Very bad race for him again. Nicholas Satifi's just doodling around in 19th. Oscar Piastri is in 20th. Pretty sad race for him. Mick Schumacher also a pretty bad race in the 21st. And dead last is once again Kevin Magnussen. His rewrite on board with Oscar Piastri and he is reporting mechanical failure. This absolutely sucks as Oscar Piastri DNFs in the first 
two races of this World Cup. Luckily, Australia got a win last week in Canada, but it doesn't look like they're having a real time of their life right now as Oscar Piastri is DNFing from the round two in the World Cup in the US. That really sucks for Oscar Piastri. But look at this. Look at Liam Lawson going, having a mega battle, going very wide, very, very wide against Carlos Sainz right there. But he has brand new tires, I believe. I got a report that he pitted a couple laps ago, and he's just making move after move right now. Looks like these new soft tires are really gripping in with the low fuel as he sends it down the inside of Carlos Sainz. They are side by side. Great move by the New Zealand driver right there. Now on lap 50, Liam Lawson is making a move on Alexander Albon, or I believe that is Latif. You know that is Alexander Albon. Great move there for Liam Lawson. He's, he's finally given us some entertainment in this race that has been quite a snooze fest so far. On the lap 52, we have Max Verstappen going for P4 against, I believe that is Lando Norris as Max Verstappen goes down the inside of the great British driver driving for Team Great Britain. Unbelievable racing side by side, wheel to wheel, medium on medium tires. Who will get the position? Will it be the Brit? Will it be the Dutch driver? driver who knows but here goes Max Verstappen as he goes down the inside of Lando Norris to get the move done brilliant racing between the two friends I would say now on the very last lap of the race, Lewis Hamilton has been basically uncontested today with Daniel Ricciardo P2 and Leclerc in P3. Once again, brilliant drives for those two guys. Verstappen's in fourth, followed by Norris in fifth, Perez in sixth. Running down the grid, we got Lance Stroll in seventh, Sebastian Vettel eighth. Great race for Canada. Sonoda is in ninth with Gasly still holding on to P10 as George Russell cannot get the move done. Alcon is in 12th. I think that's Liam Lawson in 13th. Albon in 14th. Sainz in 15th. Joe in 16th. 16th in 17th we have Bottas who's making oh he's having a battle right now currently with Fernando Alonso oh brilliant move there by the old time Spanish driver driving for France and then rounding off the grid is Mick and Kevin Magnussen very bad race for them but today it is all all eyes on Lewis Hamilton as he has flat out dominated looks like the two straps two stop strategy has been the one for today and Lewis Hamilton has pulled off the two top the two stop strategy to perfection he is completely dominating massive massive lead ahead of Daniel Ricardo in p2 but as he rounds the past couple of corners Lewis Hamilton is gonna win for team Germany in USA congratulations team Germany very very good race and well perfected by Hamilton and look how far Daniel Ricardo is behind in P2. He just went around the hairpin down the backstretch. Lewis Hamilton is almost 30 to 40 seconds ahead. If I don't, if you guys don't call that domination, I don't know what you call that. But great race for Ricardo as he's going to be coming home into P2 and a brilliant, brilliant drive from Shaw Leclerc as he's gone from 15th to P3 for Team Italy. I'm sure the Tafosi will be absolutely buzzing after that race. But here comes Daniel Ricardo coming to the line as Hamilton probably could have lapped them all. Honestly, he's done absolutely unbelievable as Ricardo comes home in P2 for Team Great Britain. Great race for him there. And now rounding the final corner of the finish off the podium is Charles Leclerc, P3 for Team Italy. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. And now, after round two in the USA of the World Cup, your current driver's champion leader is the Australian Daniel Ricciardo driving for Team Great Britain with 26 points, followed by Liam Lawson in P2, Zhou Guangyu 
Sergio Perez and Lance Stroll are all tied for P3. Hamilton is in P6, half a point ahead of Leclerc in P7, who's tied with Ocon for P7. We got P9, Lando Norris, and in 10th is Max Verstappen. In 11th, we have Sebastian Vettel tied for 11th with Yuki Tsunoda. In tied for 13th, we have Gasly and Alonso. And yet the score, we have George Russell, Carlos Sainz, Mick Schumacher, Alex Albon, Valtteri Bottas, Kevin Magnussen, Oscar Piastri, and Nicholas Latifi. And your World Cup team standings, the real important one. Currently leading is Great Britain with 36 points, followed by the Netherlands in second with 26. Canada is in, Australia is in third with 25, followed by Canada in fourth with 22. Switzerland is in fifth with 18, followed by France in sixth with 16. In seventh, we have Germany with 15.5, followed by Italy in eighth with 15.5. Japan is in ninth with five, and yet to score in 10th and 11th. 11th is USA and Thailand. So guys, that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like button, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time in Brazil. Goodbye.